just meditate a lot so I can uh, feel like you know sensations and whatever and see if this is a dream or if it's like my real body or like what is this actually going on uh, and that eventually uh, it kind of is like this focus on it doesn't matter what you're doing it for or why you're doing it or anything like that it's just like what do you what's there and you start to like feel just that and, to, and it kind of like turned into light like all these just your wherever your mind is like that focus turns into like these beams basically like uh, a ring or whatever of attention and that type of thing is what that is it like turns you into mist and then you get out of the room so it's just like after I was meditating I completely lost uh, the perspective of even being in that place. Yeah. When I came out of that meditating state, I was in a different room that was like a, a little cell, kind of in, it looked like a, some space age ship or something. And I just like walked in the room, it was like nanny. And then I walked down the hall and I figured out this weird patterns on this thing. And I was like, oh, this one. So I started, there weren't really buttons, but they're like things that you can interact with on the wall. And I opened like this other door and somebody else woke up and they're like, hey. And I'm like, hey. It's like, Go open all the other doors. Uh, you kind of like do this. They're like, okay, yeah. And like, everyone would immediately get like all their understanding back of how they got there and yeah, everything yeah. that. So, like, we all knew things. Like, we didn't know, and then suddenly we knew. Yeah. knew. And then we'd go around, but we realized it was kind of an enclosed vessel, and there was like a bunch of them, and we didn't know how to get to the other ones. So, I was like, all right, I think I can go back in because I think I know how to get out. Uh, and it's like, both of them have. Uh, complete connection when one, when one or either of them are like connected to the suit so they it, it's almost like they become one mind with the suit or as if there's three people and the suit is a mind of its own that's like uh, if like say if I was I was Samadar and then in the suit right now and then you know, Panika's like I need a suit like Samadar it, it wouldn't be like a thought like Samadar is like do I need right now? oh okay I'll get out or something like it's just like they are kind of one in that sense of just like if, if the thought comes like I need to see the like yeah and it just it, it disappears yeah and, like literally just turns into plasma and then the plasma appears on yeah, Panika because yeah. it's just con- conscious energy yeah it, like just appears and turns so into the suit. suit um the suit is not like the suit's in this house and she can teleport to this house because the suit's there but the suit can also like teleport to wherever she is mm-hmm. yeah all this weird plasma craziness um yeah. yeah and it's it look it's gonna look almost exactly like Shino because it's the first uh, version of Arduteno's tech of creating an like an uh, artificial human being and Shino is a volunteer um mm-hmm. she, she's like uh, one of Arduteno's assistants or like another tech person who knows Robin and like all that group yeah. too uh, and is basically like the one that they're going to attempt to use as like the framework to make an um, artificial person yeah. and they make a female metal okay. and then in HH Robin's like I need more intimidating people around me to like <laughs> whatever so it cre- creates like that a bigger <laughs> masculine <laughs> version <laughs> yeah which is just like this weird bizarre it doesn't even make sense uh but yeah, it, so Metal's personality, um, when he's ever like, just himself, like smacking Mackie and things like that, it's basically Shino. <laughs> like just kind of stern. Not really stern, but you, you can kind of yeah. get Metal, where he's just yeah, like very yeah. straight, uh, basically. And like, like she, Shino's kind of like that. Yeah, no, straight. It's Almost like a straight it. man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, in, in all the references that I've got for Shino, she's just like the most straight based simple person <laughs> would earn to kind of counteract Arbotendo's wackiness that he might have or Mackie's wackiness whatever it is <laughs> yeah so yeah Pillow Reality he runs around with an urn and he can drop these urns around and basically like places them around or throws them or like whatever it is even like where he is as he's carrying one around another version of him or like something comes out of it some form some essence or like some version of him that has stuff and does things. Uh, yeah. So he'd, be, he'd almost be like a summoner, where he's like placing these things everywhere and summoning stuff. And he, it's almost like assists. Like you're going to have a game where there's a bunch of assist trophies and pokeballs. And yeah, whatever. he's like Pokemon Master. Yeah. Yeah. 
if you're running around as a Pokemon trainer and you had a bunch of stuff that you could just summon and put around everywhere. Yeah. Who knows what this is? Later. Each one of them could have like different powers based on the characters that are like in the area too, like different worlds related things. It's like obviously if there's something that's like this person summoned from Slight's world. Has slightly slight powers. Kumjo's world though has something similar to Kumjo's powers. This happened and she's like one of the surviving people from a group or something, and then she like loses all of her group in some stuff, and now she's like all alone and she's just like trying to survive, <laughs> like whatever it is. And then Rover shows up and she's like already kind of like the tale could start where she's like uh, it kind of goes through her past or like we can maybe learn about her past as it goes on but it like shows up and when she finds Rover or Rover shows up she thinks like Rover's like out to get her still like just like everything else in the world is like maybe Terminator and Rover's like a new Terminator like just that type of thing and then she does like everything she possibly can and it's like amazing stuff that she does because she's you know guardian super powerful somehow it's one of the few people that survived it's like uh, X-Men Days of Future Past like Sentinels and all this crazy stuff in that distant future and like the X-Men are just a few and they're all super powerful but they're trying to deal with something that's like crazier than them and like it's like that's what she is and she's trying to deal with Rover coming at her and doesn't understand that Rover isn't like coming at her to like end her but she thinks he is so she sets up like every possible trap and like does all this crazy superpower stuff and at the end of it she's like in this final almost like panic uh what is it? like the the end state of she's like I give up I, I it's over because I couldn't stop her and then Rover shows up it's like you want to come with me and she's like what <laughs> like yeah. it's just it, it's a, a I was thinking when I was writing it is like if Rover is kind of that thing that's like everywhere and Chiote would be like the she has she's like Ananda the day before like if Buddha's gone yeah everything's gone and like the the Buddhist thing is all going to end eventually, and all the all the arhans get together and they're like, we're going to have five hundred arhans, and we have to document everything the Buddha said so we can keep it for a while, and it could last like more centuries and whatever. And Ananda is not an arhan, so he shouldn't be at this meeting, but he knows everything the Buddha said. He has to become an arhan yeah. before we, this meeting, and it's like the night before, and he's doing everything he's saying. I have to figure out yeah. how to survive. Yeah. I have to do this, like just that type of. Thing. And then when he finally he gives Stops. up, like I'm not yeah. Arhan, his head is the pillow, and he's there. And it's like what she did is like when she finally like the whole time as she's going through all these things and trying to survive, it's all about like I have to I have to just do this like yeah. no matter how bad every situation is, just be wholesome, be okay, like don't do things that I hate and anger and fear and like all this other stuff. And when she finally gives up, it's like I don't think I can. <laughs> just like uh, it's over. I didn't make it. I, I couldn't do it. And then. Then it's like, where are we like, 